Hey, I'm Thrand here. Hey, oh, this is Eldgrim. And, and this, this is the Thane Thrand Channel. Yo! Enemies are heavier weight since we're using a, a medium sized sling. The other one we used was a lot lighter than these. I'd say these are about maybe three or four ounces or something. Pretty heavy. They're a lot heavier than this rock. This is a common sized rock somebody might have thrown in a sling. And they're a lot smaller, denser, and heavier than this. But another thing we noticed is we had some stick in the plywood that bounce out but leave deep indentations. But the bevel we had, you know, wasn't enough that it could possibly stick. But it also blunts the tips instantly. So if you notice these online, they look like footballs and you don't see any sharp points. There's a good chance they were sharp, but uh, the time of erosion of the lead, and it does oxidize as well, there's not going to be any points left, especially if you getting beat around, moved around, whatever happened to it. When you find it historically, you're going to see that, you know, they're around the tips, not like football. We made these quite elongated. We we're hoping that gives us a better chance of penetration. And we did research it and found out uh, that some of the actual ones found during the Roman era, where they talk about the glandies embedding in flesh, very much shaped like this because you find all different styles and you find people's thumbs poured and stuff but anyway we got these done for you and what we're going to do today is test them against this ballistic gel and what we're going for is a gut type thing oh, uh. i think we got one in i think we actually got one in now it didn't go to the blood but it's embedded it's in here right next to it it didn't pus pop our bag full of stuff but well, that proves it there. That's ballistics gel. That hit the thickest part. That is 10% ballistics gel. It is in there. It's in there. The Romans did not lie. We'll take that out in a minute. I might throw another one, see if we can pop that bag and leave that one in while we're doing it. That is it all the way in. You would need tongs to pull that out of a human body. And we hit the thick part. I was thinking that was a possibility, but I wanted to pop that bag just for the, the, for the fun, fun of, of doing it. it. Yes, yes. Oh! We got stuff running everywhere. Looks like it cut through the bottom area and into the bag. A little bit lower than I expected. I want to hit higher, but oh well. You can see all the damage it did to the ballistics gel at the bottom. Wish I could aim a little higher, but. Yeah, I do think that would uh, gut a man to the degree that it would go deep enough he'd be in some bad, bad pain and possibly die. Back in the day. Especially this one. Since we deflated our bag, you can see the depth we got in here. Close. My fingers at. Our, our bag was helping hold it in there. But it went through all this ballistics gel all the way through. Itself in, so I'm, I'm thinking that would that would go into the flesh. I mean, definitely. This is 10% ballistic shell, it's solid. I'd really be worried about it can embed in human flesh so well because of the uh, long shape, the uh, kind of a football or a conical shape. Uh, they, they're very pointed, and as you can see, I've also resharpened some of these back up by hammering them. I believe they might have done that back then because we actually see ones with these same. Uh, same uh, marks, so almost as like a hammer blows, like they put points back on. And you can't get perfect points or you'll have the tips break off, but you can get them back in, in shape if they get out of shape. We're going to try some of these today. I'm back with my sling. A few people had said that I didn't wind up or start spinning the sling faster and faster. Well, even with a long sling, you don't do that. You spin it. The only the motion to get it going is just to get it going off the ground because it's so long. And then you increase in speed right as you pop it and throw it. Well, in my method, I'm just using a short sling, which would be good for close up, and that's for close range fighting. And yes, a long sling has more power, but it's really not a safe thing to do in our location. But today, I, I'm going to prove, I, I hope, that this has extreme power. A short sling is very damaging. We're, today, we're going to be using 20% ballistic gelatin. No filler, because we had a few complaints about the other one saying they didn't believe it had as much power as, you know, as, as other slings and sling styles and so on. But uh, we're going to have 20% ballistic gelatin, and very thick, dense cardboard behind a brand new, a brand new uh, setup. So we'll see how it, it performs, uh, what kind of penetrations we got. Uh, I'm warmed up and ready to go, and uh, I'm hoping this is going to be spectacular. We'll actually see if we can definitely prove whether these will embed in human flesh. Oh! 
Oh man, that 20% gel, it went straight in, sideways, and it started coming back out because of how stout the gel is. Look at this. I've, I've got to show everybody this. It went in, I don't know if you can see it in the video from there, it went into this depth. But then I'm going to show you exactly what it did. It started coming right back out. So sideways, this actually pierced the ballistics gel. It went in the full depth of the round. Went in that deep, but as you look, I will show you what it did. This is what it did. On its own, the gel, the weight of the gel pushing against it, and it being 20% gel, pushed itself back out. Yeah, I'm extremely impressed. This is the hardest gel we've tested this with. The other was 10% in the other video. This is a 20% ballistic shell, so it's very, very tough. Oh, damn. That's multiple layers of cardboard. I think that's tougher than ballistics gelatin. And it's in there good. Check that out. Yeah. That's not bad, dude. I, I'm more impressed by that than the ballistics gel. It's hard to actually pull out. Yeah, it's cardboard. Yes, that's not, you know, a hollow spot. That's all cardboard all over. It just happened to hit point four first on the cardboard, so flat or sideways, and that's what you get. It embedded. Oh! Got to figure out where that went. Oh, yeah, it went in the gel. I swear I heard it. I know, and I'm trying to figure out. Oh yeah, it is. It's all the way through, but I'm trying to figure out where it went in. Oh, right here. You can barely see in ballistic shell sometimes. But see the slit? You can see the slit, right? It went all the way through. And I want to do this right so everybody can see it. Can you look straight down? Of course I can, that's what I'm doing. Look, it came out the back of the ballistic shell and stuck in our cardboard. That was our money shot right there, man. It was beautiful. That's what, boom. Looking, that's what we were looking for. Something like that. Look, we went into the cardboard, not as deep as we did in this one, because there's multiple layers of cardboard, but stuck in there. Wound channel back here is huge. As you can tell, I'm sure that's probably because of wobbling or whatever it went through, but it split big in the back. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed our episode. Uh, you, I, you can actually see the power of the lead glandies. Uh, not only did we embed it stuck into the, the dense cardboard, uh, we also got it completely through the gel stuck into the dense cardboard. So I was extremely impressed. We've embedded it flat sideways, something I wasn't even sure was possible in 20% gelatin. Although it did mash out pretty quick afterwards and it was only the depth of the ground. That's scary. I mean, if you think about the power it took to do that. So, uh, and, and the speed. I don't think that a short sling is anything to laugh at, whether you actually, some people still do use the style where they wind up and then swing. Uh, I don't think it's anything to laugh at. It had extreme power and performed very well. I had a great episode today. Uh, thank you so much for coming by and watching us. Be sure and leave us a comment down below. Uh, we like your suggestions and our input and what you have to say about it. Uh, like our video if you like it, share it with other people, share it on forums, what do you wanna do, discuss it. Uh, let us know what you think about it and if we need to improve it. We came back to do it again for you. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We love new subs here on our YouTube channel at Thane Thran. Uh, you can also go by Facebook and give us a like at Th uh, Thran at Elgrim's Well of Remembrance. That's our page on Facebook. Uh, if you want to be a member of a select group or crew, you can go by the Thane Thran YouTube boat crew. And uh, it's a uh, uh, private group, so you can send us a... Uh, request and we'll surely accept you if you like hanging out with a bunch of rowdy vikings that love history and fantasy and what have you anything to do with weapons combat arms and armor you can pretty much post there or jokes or anything stuff that you wouldn't probably just post anywhere uh be sure to help us out on patreon.com it's uh www.patreon.com slash thran and uh any donations you want to send us there will help us out immensely uh, also, if you would like to donate any items or us to uh, actually test out your products and you have a shop or something and would like to send them to us, that's all we ask is you send us the stuff. We can't guarantee it's safety or that we can send it back, but if you ship it to us for free, we will test it out. We'd love to do that. Just uh, contact me at thanethrand, uh, gmail.com. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed the episode. I did, and I hope you all did, and everybody did. So, uh, farewell.